This is a Provost production. Hello, everybody. Coming to you from Mystic Hot Springs in Monroe, Utah. Super relaxing out here. Very peaceful. And I wanted to take a moment to reflect upon the gratitude that I have for this moment and for all moments previous to this in my life, no matter how painful or vulgar or traumatizing they were, because each moment has brought me to this moment. So. Mm, very grateful for that. I'm grateful that I had the insight and intuition come to me to look up hot springs on my route traveling across the country. And sure enough, I found this place. The water is rich in calcium carbonate. And this right here is a natural formation of the calcium carbonate that is coming out of the earth. And these rocks will only get bigger over time, which is really cool. And in this moment, I feel incredibly small, right? In the grand scheme of the earth, and all the people on planet Earth, and all of the animals and insects and everything here on this planet. I am incredibly small. And it's humbling. It takes me out of my usual narcissistic position. And being here allows me to get out of my comfort zone and to see what life is like for other people to come across faces I have not seen before. And out here, I really am out in the country. It feels like I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. This place is much different than LA and it's nice to be away from, from LA. Um, <clears throat> I love LA, but I also hate it. <laughs> and I have been incredibly antsy to get out of LA for a while and to, to go see the country because honestly I haven't really experienced the country or seen quite a few states um, and what better way to do it than in my wonderful convertible BMW which I wouldn't even have if I hadn't had the experience the incredibly painful experience of basically totaling my other BMW, crashing it, um, <clears throat> and going without a car in LA for about a month, which was really tough. And all throughout that experience, it's safe to say I was not in the right state of mind. I had invested in incredible amount of my personality, you could say my ego, um, everything into my first BMW. And to have it just taken away like that was, whew, that was really hard. Paid in full, you know, I had, I had lost it over the years, different times. Um, 
when I would go through intense periods of of mental reorganization, so to speak. That was a really tough experience. And I honestly did not see uh, a future for myself without my car. Now, I was not suicidal or, or anything like that, but I could not picture the next step for quite some time. And I eventually, I dug myself out of that hole, and now I have made it to beautiful southern Utah and enjoying some hot springs right now. So I just, just want to pause, say I'm grateful for that awful experience. And through that process, I had to... Uh, essentially let go of um, my car but uh, I didn't really let go a hundred percent I let go like 99 percent and I got myself a new car but mostly I had to let that car go I had to accept the fact that I wasn't going to drive it again and through that process of letting go now, BMW number one is fixed. I didn't even think that would be possible. I had several estimates from local body shops and they all quoted me 10,000, 12,000, $14,000 to fix my car. But through patience, a lot of patience and letting go of the concept of having it I posted an ad on Craigslist saying I'm trying to sell my car and luckily the universe put into my life a body shop that would fix it and not rip me off and I'm very excited now for what I plan to do with that BMW. So stay tuned, it's all very exciting. And I'm just grateful, grateful that I still have it, that I have the resources to fix it, and that I have another one, which honestly brings me more joy and costs a lot less money to pay off. <laughs> So that's interesting. <clears throat> well, <sighs> beautiful day. Just stunning. So quiet out here, so peaceful. I just think it's really neat how the water is coming off this rock. Right? Look at how cool that looks. I love it. Beautiful. Gorgeous out here. I really hope that the clouds clear up a little bit because it would be amazing to sit out here underneath the stars tonight. I have not seen tons and tons of stars in forever because I live in LA. <laughs> right? Fuck. Um, but out here, if it was clear skies, I bet the stars would be amazing. So we'll see about that. Hmm. If I get a little bit closer to the rock, the water gets a little warmer. It's pretty warm coming right off the rock. I can barely touch it. It's a sweet couple down there in the other tubs having a chat.
And then there's some pools down near that white house. And I really appreciate how not crowded this place is. There's not very many people here. And um, being an empath, it can be very difficult to be around a lot of people. So um, this experience of not being around a bunch of ants in an anthill is quite rejuvenating. Well, I guess I'll end this video here. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.